glass is back, the lab coat is back, so you know what that means. Today we are doing an amazing science experiment that involves the all incredible slime. Now it's been a little bit since I've done a DIY slime video, so I thought I would come back with the most fun slime I can think of, which is foaming, erupting, bubbling slime and this is a really fun science experiment. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how much fun I had filming this video as if slime isn't fun enough. But to make it bubble and erupt and just look incredible, it's just so much more amazing. Now if you guys are excited for this video and you love slime just as much as I do, you can let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. And I also want to let you guys know that we have just started the October giveaway over on my Instagram, which is at Jillian underscore Bauer. I have to keep like adjusting my glasses, but if you didn't know, I am holding a giveaway each month on my Instagram this year and we have just started October. I cannot believe that it is nearly Christmas. Is that too soon to say it? I don't think so. <laughs> and this month's prize is so much fun, so make sure you head over to my Instagram if you would like to enter that giveaway. If this is my first video that you're seeing, then hi, my name is Jillian and I'm so, so happy that you found my channel. And if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already subscribed, then just go ahead and click the red subscribe button and then whenever I upload new videos, you'll be able to see them. So I think it's time that we get scientific and start making some bubbling and erupting awesome slime. So firstly, you're going to need a jug and just fill that jug with one cup of slightly warm water. And then you're going to need half a teaspoon of borax. Now, when working with borax, you wanna make sure that you're super careful and if you have sensitive skin or you're just a bit worried about it, then when you're playing with the slime, I would recommend wearing gloves and also wash your hands after playing with the slime. And if you're a little young, I would recommend also having parental supervision. So just add half a teaspoon of the borax to the water and mix this all together and then set this aside. Then you're going to need some vinegar, so just add 60 ml of vinegar to a glass or jug. And then taking that borax and water mixture that we made beforehand, just take one tablespoon and add this to the vinegar and then set this aside. Next, you're going to need a tray, so just grab a baking tray or something like that because things are about to get a little messy and this is going to make cleanup so much easier. So then just take a glass or jar and add half a cup of glue and I'm using washable glue because I feel like that always works so well with slime. So just adding the glue to the jar and then you need to pick out what color you want your slime to be. So this one I made a really pretty a light pink color because you guys know that pink is my favorite color. So just add some food coloring to the glue and mix this all together. Then you're going to need some baking soda. So just go ahead and take one tablespoon of the baking soda and add this to the glue. And then you just wanna mix it all together and it's gonna give you a slightly thicker consistency. So here you can see what my glue is looking like now that I've added the baking soda. And now it is time for the absolutely fun part and the part we've all been waiting for. Take your vinegar and borax mixture and pour it into the glue mixture and then you just want to stir it. And as you start to stir, you'll see all these bubbles start to form. Hi, it's scientist Jillian here, popping in here to explain to you the science behind what is going on right now. When we poured in the baking soda and glue mixture into the vinegar and borax mixture, the vinegar and baking soda mix together to form these amazing carbon dioxide gas bubbles. And when the pressure builds inside the jar, the bubbles burst out over the top and flow over the sides of the jar. Now to make this into slime, just go ahead and pour the rest of the mixture out and you just want to start working it with your hands and you'll see that it'll start to thicken. Now I know here it looks really runny and not at all like a nice slime would be, but the more you work with it, the more it'll come together and it'll all just make the perfect slime and it makes such an awesome like texture. Like it's a really, really soft slime. I don't know, it was just really fun and really different. And I love how easy this was to make. Like it came together so easily once I started working with it. So not only do we end up with this awesome slime, but it was also so, so much fun to make. Oh my gosh, that was just like the best like science experiment ever. 
So here I'm just going ahead and making another one because I was having so much fun but this one is going to be blue so I added some blue food coloring and then followed all the same steps again. And then this is the fun part where you mix it all together and then it starts to overflow with all these amazing bubbles. So then after the reaction has finished, you can just go ahead and take your slime and start mixing it together to make the perfect texture. So the more you mix it, the thicker it'll get and then you'll end up with this super awesome slime that feels just like regular slime. I love this purple one so much, it was such a pretty color and I had so much fun making all these slimes, like slime is fun as it is but when you get to make it into an awesome science experiment it is just like a thousand times more fun and exciting to make. How incredibly fun was that slime? I loved filming today's video so much and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you did, you can let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.